Authoritarianism is when there's a strict set of rules in place, and one person or a small group decides everything without asking others what they think. It's like having a very strict teacher who doesn't allow any talking or questions. Libertarianism is like saying, I want to make my own choices without someone always telling me what I can and can't do, emphasizing personal freedom and minimal rules from authority. Feminism is the belief that everyone, no matter if they're a boy or a girl, should have the same chances to succeed and the same rights in every part of life. Environmentalism is caring deeply about the earth, like making sure we don't litter, harm animals, or cut down too many trees, so our planet stays beautiful and safe for everyone. Egalitarianism is the idea that everyone should start from the same place in a race, meaning everyone has the same rights and opportunities, no matter where they come from or what they look like. Transhumanism is about using science and technology to help people do things they never could before, like seeing better than ever with special glasses or being stronger with robotic help. Communitarianism is like believing that being part of a community is really important. It means working together and looking out for each other, like a big family that takes care of its members. Populism is when leaders say, I speak for all the regular people against the big, powerful groups. It's like a school president promising to make things fair for everyone. Communism is like imagining a place where everything is owned by everyone. No one has more toys or food than anyone else, and all things are shared so that everyone has what they need. Separatism is when a part of a country wants to become its own separate country because they feel different in their culture, language, or ideas from the rest of the country. Anarchism is the idea that people should be able to live freely without being told what to do by leaders or governments, believing that without these authorities, people can organize themselves and live in peace. Syndicalism is a way of organizing society where the people who work in different jobs, like teachers or builders, run things together instead of having bosses. It's like if a team decided together how to play their game instead of only listening to the coach. Corporatism is when all parts of society, like businesses, workers, and government, work closely together like a team to make decisions. It's like different sections of an orchestra playing together in harmony. Republicanism is a way of running a country where the leaders are chosen by the people to make decisions for them. It's like choosing class representatives to speak for everyone in meetings with the teachers. Capitalism is like a big marketplace where everyone can set up their own shop. Some people might end up with bigger shops because they sell things that a lot of people want, but everyone has a chance to try. Socialism is the idea that everyone in a community should share things more equally, like if every slice of a giant pizza was cut the same size so everyone gets an equal piece. Conservatism is like wanting to keep the traditions that people have always followed because they provide a sense of security and stability. It's about being cautious with changes and valuing the lessons from the past. Liberalism is like believing everyone should have the freedom to choose their own path in life. It supports the idea that people should have equal opportunities to succeed and make their own decisions. Imperialism is when one country expands its power by taking over other places, sometimes far away, to control more land and resources. It's like if someone tried to take over the whole playground to decide who gets to play where. Progressivism is about always looking for ways to make things better for everyone like finding new ways to solve problems so that people in the planet are healthier and happier. Fascism is a system where a country is ruled by one person or a small group who do not allow people to disagree with them. It shows why it's important for everyone to have a voice and be able to speak freely. Nazism was a harmful belief from history, where one group of people thought they were better than others and tried to control and hurt many people. It teaches us the importance of treating everyone with kindness and equality.